So this 20 minute workout is low impact, so it's easy on the joints. And because it's medium intensity, it doesn't spike the belly fat. Let's start with move one. We have a total of 21 moves here. The first move you're going to do is stationary squat with alternating front punches. You're going to do each move for about 45 seconds and then you get a nice relaxing 10 second break. All of these moves should be really easy on the body. If you start to feel like you're going to pass out or feel dizzy, by all means, please take a break. Listen to your body as always and take water breaks whenever you need it. Here's our first 10 second rest. Moving on to move number two. We're going to do alternating front knee raises here. Now we do want to get the heart rate up just a little bit more. So I want you to make sure that you bring those knees up as high as you can towards your chest and reach those arms up high over your head and bring them down to meet those knees. Now, if you're having a pain day, you don't need to make this move quite as big. Just do what you can do. If you make your back into like a C-curve position, this really helps to isolate your abdominals as well. Great work. Let's move on to move number three. We're going to do knee pulls here. So you're going to go to one side at a time and do basically what you just did in the last exercise. But you're going to isolate your obliques here a little bit more in your lower abdominal. Put all your weight in that standing leg and bring that knee up as high as you can. Don't forget to breathe. 10 second rest. Move number four. So now we're going to switch sides. We're going to do the exact same thing. And really think about what you're doing here. The more you focus on the exercise being done, the more you actually work the muscles. Make this time count. It's only 20 minutes. You guys can do it and your heart rate's going to spike, but not so high that it causes unnecessary stress to the body. That's why I love mitt training. 10 second rest. It's good to keep marching in place during these rests. Move number five, can you believe it? Okay, we're going to do front kicks, but we're going to isolate one side at a time here. So you can see that I'm not going too fast because if we go too fast, we tend to lose our balance and fall over. And then that's kind of defeating the purpose of the exercise. So it's okay, just go slow, focus on squeezing your standing leg so that you can catch your balance. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your glutes, and extend that leg out as far as you can here. Great work. March it out. 10 second rest and please be sure to grab water whenever you need. Move number six. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Now you might notice that one side is easier than the other. It just depends on your level of balance and what side is more dominant. This side is harder for me, I think. Again, depending on how you're feeling today, you can do little low kicks here, as I'm doing. Or you can really extend that leg. Just do what feels good for you. There's no rules. The only rule is just keep moving. Get the heart rate up. Ooh, okay, march it out. Move number seven. We're just blitzing through these moves, I think. Okay, so front kicks, side kicks, back kicks, and then a front knee. Front kick, side kick, back kick, and a knee. You got it yet? I know. You gotta think about this one. 
lot. You are just working all angles of the glutes. So I just love this particular exercise. And you're working so many stabilizer muscles. Just by standing on that straight leg there, trying to balance yourself. Oh man, great work. You deserve this 10 second rest. Move number eight. Now we're going to do the same thing, but on the opposite side. Again, this might really test your balance. This side is definitely harder for me, but you got it. Have fun with this one. Pretend like you're in a kickboxing class. You're kicking the front door, you're kicking the side door, and you're kicking the back door all open. Put some power in these moves. Extend that leg. Bring those hands up towards your chest. One more. Again, you can make these kicks lower if you need to, if you're having a really bad fatigue day. March it out. Enjoy your 10 second rest. Move number nine. Okay, we're going into speed skaters. But remember, this is a low impact workout. So I'm coming slightly off the ground, but one foot is always touching the floor. That's what keeps it low impact. You can make this more intense by squatting a little bit lower and going a little bit quicker. This is about the max speed I can go unless I wanna fall over. Reach that hand out in front of you. This helps your balance and it gets the calorie burn up. Couple more, march it out. Man, these 45 seconds fly by, they go so fast. Okay, move number 10. You guys are halfway through this workout. Amazing, amazing work. Now we're going into four touches with alternating side lunges here. If you can't come down quite as far, just tap your hand to the top of your knee. No worries, just do what's good for you. Man, you are working your obliques here like crazy, your quads, your glutes. These are total body movement here. This is why you do not need to jump around to burn fat. You don't need to do HIT. And if you're dealing with chronic health problems, HIT can actually be really bad for you. So we all need to do what works for us. Great work. Grab some water when you need it. Don't forget. Move number 11. Take those feet out wide. We're going to do squats, swinging those arms up over our head and then down in between our legs, just like you would do if you're swinging a kettlebell. But thank goodness we don't have to swing an actual kettlebell because I think I would die. So make sure to push your hips forward when you're swinging those arms up over your head and then bring them down in between your legs, kind of making a T-curve with your back so you can isolate those abs. This one makes you sweat, for sure. Make sure that those knees are not past the toes as usual. Put all of your weight on your heels here so that you could lift your toes up if you needed to. March it out. Great work, guys. Move number 12, more than halfway done now. We're going to do little chair squats here, tapping your toes right and then left. So they're like traveling chair squats. In each move, be sure that your position is good here. You have all of your weight in your heels. Your knees aren't past your toes and you're coming down really low so you can burn out those quad muscles. Do what you want with those arms. Just keep them moving. 
Man, if you do this workout just a couple times a week, you're going to have killer legs, I'm telling you. This is an insane leg workout and glute workout, so. It's two for one, love that. Toning and cardio. Great work, man. It's getting hard. 10 second rest. But keep going, you guys can do it. I know it. Move 13. Plies with toe taps. This one really burns out those inner thighs, I am telling you, and your obliques. So this is another move that I do in a lot of my toning workouts because it's just so effective. But because we're moving a little bit quicker here, your heart rate still stays up. You can go even quicker if you want, but I notice that it tends to be more difficult to stay low in the plie the faster you go. So don't compromise your form here if you do try to speed it up. So if you're really flexible, you can bring those hands to touch the elbows, but if not, don't worry. That's like a rest. Move 14. I know we have to go down back into those plies. So sorry. We're doing these stationary plies, lifting our heels up off the floor, alternating. Pulling both arms down towards the legs. This one we're going pretty fast because it's easy to keep your form when doing that. So it's totally okay. Now I know in this position, because we just did it, you have the tendency, you want to creep up, you want to come out of that plie, but please don't do it. You guys are tough. Your legs are tough. You only have a few more seconds. Push through it. Great work. Wonderful. And guess what? We